closest call I've ever had on this job was Christmas night. The bell rang for a house fire, which was down the street from Fire Station 9. up the stairway. It was dark, probably zero visibility. I don't remember seeing anything. You could hear yourself breathe. Although much of today's firefighting culture has changed since Edwin Porter's historic film, Life of an American Fireman, much also remains the same. 80% of the alarms are now medical runs, and the term fireman has been modified to firefighter to include women. But the goal of every fire department still remains as it was in 1902, to save lives. This is the story of a few firefighters in the city of Miami's Department of Fire Rescue, the busiest fire service in alarms per firefighter in the United States. It is a department that still retains many of the same traditions that captivated Edwin Porter at the turn of the century. His fascination with the call to duty in spite of the danger not only motivated Porter to make firemen the subject of the first modern film in history, it is still central to the firefighting culture nearly a hundred years later. Chief Bill Winchester is in command of Miami's North End, a territory known as District 2. Tonight, he has dropped by Station 12 during dinner time to talk to Lieutenant Hugo Rodriguez, a fire rescue officer. Hugo is helping the cook prepare dinner, while his regular partner, firefighter Iggy Carroll, is with a different crew on Rescue 12. It is Christmas night. Rescue 12, respond to person, one shot. Northwest, anyone have an answer? Rescue, you deal with patients that have all different type of communicable diseases, AIDS, tuberculosis, hepatitis, um, and we run the risk of catching that. I get a car, Iggy, just get him up. I get a car. He says he was up by the bridge. In Miami, the fire department is rescue oriented. All the firefighters are cross trained in emergency medicine, and many are paramedics, including Hugo and Iggy. The reward is to see the people's Faces when you save somebody's life or when you were there just to help them. You really have to love this job to, to be in this job, in this field, and I, I really love it. While police work to solve this shooting, Iggy and his other partners try to stabilize the patient before transporting. Here, the patient's vitals do not look good. When Iggy returns, Hugo joins him on their regular truck, Rescue 12. It's surprising. You would never know what to expect. Even something as simple as a person being assaulted on the street, you never know that person who assaulted that person could be trying to come back and finish the job. You, know, you can be right there in the line of fire. So I'm pretty sure if there's a firefighter who says he's not afraid, then. Uh, He's not human. <laughs> I got my leg. I got my leg. Man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get no handcuff. I ain't getting nothing. Man, I ain't ready to go. I ain't ready to go. Tony, you better tell him. Five, four, three, 
Man, let me go, please. Let's go, man. Get him there. Mommy, I don't need no ambulance. Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't need no ambulance, man. I don't need no ambulance. All right. See you later. Nigga, thank you. You have a nice day. Merry Christmas. They get kind of crazy.